Hello Truckers! I'll be showing you a short tutorial how to unload the tanker into the client silo. Here we have a log foodstuff tanker, but this tutorial works for all the powder or grain silos. First we place the sample of the truck and trailer into a good position to the client silo. Not too close, not too far, depending on the length of our hoses. We pull out the air hose from our cabin. We connect one end to our compressor and the other end to the tube that goes inside our tanker. We connect the battery to the tipping engine with a cable, plus to plus, minus to minus. We go to the back of the trailer. We put on the earth cable. We get down the back of the trailer by releasing the pressure. We push back the safety bar, so when we will tip the tanker, it doesn't hit with each other. We let down the back legs. Place them in equal so we get the tanker centered. So it's centered. We mount the unloading elbow to the back manhole. We tighten it well to not lose product or air when we will have it under pressure. Now we're going to mount the one-way valve, so in case of any problems, we don't end up with the product in our compressor. This allows only the air to flow in one direction. We mount the curved air pipe because we have the silo to our right side. If we would have had it on our left side, we wouldn't need the curved air pipe. We connect the air hose from the compressor to the elbow. We pull out the product hose. Connect it to the elbow and tighten it well. The other end of the hose we mounted to the silo of the client and tight it well. After we've mounted everything all together, the legs on the ground, the earth cable and everything well fixed, we start tipping the tanker. With the tipping engine in neutral, we push the start button and we pull back the handle. We tip the tanker 2.5 bars up maximum, not more, otherwise we get product inside the air release hose. And that would be a problem at the end of the discharging when we want to release the pressure from the empty tanker. After it's tipped 2.5 bars, we stop the tipping engine. We make sure the valve that flows air into the tanker is open. Valves in line with the hoses are in open position. Now we can go start the compressor. We start the truck engine. We press the clutch and then we put it in 8 high gear and then in neutral. And now we press the compressor button and slowly release the clutch. We set the engine rotations to maximum 800 rotations per minute. At this client we must not exceed 0.8 bar 12 psi. After we get to the pressure we need on the barometer, we open the air valve that releases air through the elbow into the client silo. 
We slowly open the product valve and feel the flow of the product into the silo. Check the barometer. If it has a good constant flow, that's okay. If it varies, that could end up getting the product stuck all the way from our hose to the silo of the client. So we don't want that to happen, but in case it happens, I made a video how to unblock the product and pull it back into the tanker. Check it out in the description. We easily hit the back of the tanker with a rubber hammer to have an idea where the line of the product is. After a while, we will have little product left in the back of the tanker, so we tip the tanker more. So now, we are unloading with 0.8 bar pressure. Everything goes smoothly. We always keep a look on the barometer and the product hose to prevent any problem. If you encounter any problem, always close the product valve first, otherwise you could end up with the product stuck. When the pressure drops, we open more the product valve and close more the air valve, but not too much as you could get it stuck. In case the pressure drops too much, we close the product valve, then the air valve, and we wait until the pressure goes back up. After that, we start unloading again, opening the air valve and then the product valve. Gently hit the tanker on the bottom with a rubber hammer to check if we don't have any product left. The tanker is empty. You'll be hearing a hollow sound, as only the air flows now. We close the product valve and then the air valve. We turn off the compressor and the engine of the truck. We tip down the tanker. We release the air of the tanker from the air release valve. We pick off the hose. Pick off the air hose, the curved pipe, the one-way valve, the elbow, and put them back into their desired places. Pick off the air cable. We equilibrate the back of the trailer. We pull up the back legs of the trailer. We pull out the safety bar and lock it. We pick off the cable from the tipping engine. The air hose from the compressor. and put them back into their places.
My friend George is fighting with the lack of the air hose tube. And now, with a box of the couplings. Who'd have thought it's harder to close the door than unloading the silo? We go around the assemble of the truck and trailer for a brief recheck to make sure we didn't misplace anything. And we are good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you George for helping me making this video. Now you know how to unload the silo. Take care and drive safely. Best regards, Alex.